Yeah, yeah, so I'm watching this fight, man. <clears throat> they just replayed on um, on Fox. I was watching the football games tonight or whatever, but I was going through the channels and I seen this Pacquiao versus Thurman on um, FS1. There we go. Because I guess they showing like, hold on. Cause, hold on. I rewind it a little so bit, but look. Hey, y'all. It's on FS1. PVC collection. They were just showing the fight or whatever. But, uh, hold on. Let me hurry up off this shit before I get tapped in. But, yeah, man. Um, after watching this fight, man, Pac Man took some damage, bro. He took, he took a lot of damage from Keith Thurman in that fight, even though he won or whatever in the split decision. You know, he only took a lot of damage from Keith, Ro Keith Thurman rocked his ass quite a few times. I just watched the whole fight. He rocked him quite a few times. But he still pulled out the fight. You, you know, pulled out with the fight. Um, let me not show that. I'm tripping. I'm fucking all the way up. God damn. But yeah. He still pulled out with the fight. You feel me? Even you know what I'm saying? Whoop Keith Thurman ass. He made a couple of statements. First of all, he dropped him. Then he hurt him with that body shot in the tenth round. So, I mean, it he 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 made it do what it do. Why why uh why Keith Thurman? You know what I'm saying? Ain't put his all, or he wasn't you know a hundred percent from what he used to be. Um. I don't think Keith Thurman, but fuck all that. Manny Pacquiao should be stripped, bro. Immediately. I'm talking like ASAP type shit because this fight was like, bro. <laughs> you heard me? I'm talking about watching this fight. I'm like, damn, when the fuck was this shit? This shit wasn't last year. You heard me? It wasn't 2020. Was that motherfucker even 2019? It might have been. <laughs> bro, that nigga. Needs to be stripped, bro. ASAP, bro. This fight was hell as a go. That's WBA problem, man. That's why I've been saying all this time about Manny Pacquiao need to be stripping. Here come the the Pac Tor. I see why they call them nigga Pac Tor. Them niggas retarded, man. Here come them niggas. He's Manny Pacquiao. He can do what he wants to. Like <laughs> goofy shit, man. He can do what he wants. He's a legend. He can do what he want. My nigga, I don't give a fuck what that nigga is. He ain't even got to fight them niggas, but at least drop the fucking belt. The niggas is holding the belt for future negotiations as a, as a fucking piece of cheese that you just pull the string for with a mouse with a mouse and shit. Like, that's what type of shit he on, bro. Give the fucking belt up and get your big head, water jug head ass the fuck out of here, man. And fight McGregor. Could be but one of them niggas, man. Jake, you should be over there. Floyd fighting one of the brothers. You should be fighting the other one, nigga. And y'all should be tag teaming them niggas and some shit like that. Drop the fucking belt. Matter of fact, give the belt back to Keith Thurman, right? You feel me? Cause we ain't see him get his ass beat from a young nigga, from from a a, a fucking younger boxer who's younger than Manny Pacquiao. We want to see get that nigga to back the belt. Put Keith Thurman in that bitch. Make him fight Shine. Shine, get your big mouth, big teeth ass the fuck back out of the Terrence Crawford shit. Because I see, I, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm talk about that. But get Keith Thurman the belt, right? Earl Spence and Bud fight. Bud, goofy ass. Take the fucking 40%, nigga. Get the fuck in the ring. We got that fight. Win a fight. Keith Thurman versus Shine or some shit. You heard me? Boom. That's the end of 2021. Earl Spence move up. Y'all niggas keep doing whatever y'all do. You know, maybe, you know, I don't know. All type of shit can happen. Like, it can be mixed and match in so many different ways. You know, um, niggas want rematches and shit like that. So, you know. Sean want to rematch. He can have it at 154. That shit not happening at 147. Um, but and Keith Thurman could fight. 
right? After Earl Spence beat Bud and Keith Thurman, right? Bud and Keith Thurman, because Keith Thurman puts that. He, he, I never heard him talk like he interested in moving to 154, so maybe he can fight Bud in 147. One fucking day, I don't know. And, you know, we can do it like that, but, but with all that puzzle stuff, without all that shit, Manny Pacquiao need to be stripped, man. I always hear about how a nigga Earl Spence mandatory. He just beat a nigga ass, right? Why the fuck? Where the fuck is Manny Pacquiao mandatories or or challenges or whatever the fuck? Why the fuck he ain't fighting nobody, bro? The nigga just holding it. That's how a nigga's problem, man. Because Keith Thurman was holding that bitch for two years. Held up the shit. Shit can be happening right now. That's what's wrong with boxing, man. I hate to sound cliche, but that that's truly what's wrong with boxing on some real shit. The belt people. The belt organization niggas, man. This nigga had the belt for two years. And before he had it for two years, Keith Thurman had it for two years. So the belt ain't been in transition for real for a full four years. <laughs> About four years, you know what I mean? Only swapped one hand in, in the last four years, bro. Ain't had no defenses or none of that shit. You heard me? This shit crazy, man. But it is what it is, man. Take this nigga belt, man. So we can get a little bit more action, man. Take Manny Pacquiao belt. And get the fuck out of here, man. If you ain't gonna fight Earl Smith or Terrence Crawford. I know you ain't gonna fight Bud. But uh, if you ain't gonna fight Earl. You know what I'm saying? Get the fuck out of here, man. Because. And drop the fucking belt, man. Strip the nigga. Like, these niggas, man. It is what it is, man. I ain't gonna drag it. But, y'all hit that like button, man. And let me know what y'all think, man. I think Manny Pacquiao ain't no thing. I know that nigga needs to be stripped, bro. Take the fucking belt. But it is what it is. He already ducked Earl Spence several times. And he already... He don't seem like he want to fight. He ducked him already. And he used his name several times just to keep his little last leg standing and shit. Using Earl Spence as some crunches and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm out, man. Y'all hit that like button.